What's going on YouTube? So no lag VPN just introduced a new geofence feature. So I'm just going to very quickly show you guys how to install and get that running. First you want to go onto the no lag VPN website and go to your dashboard. Once you're there, go ahead and choose Warzone dash Modern Warfare 3. And then it's only for PC right now. So go ahead and select PC for your platform. After that, you want to go right here where it says geofence, how to install and then download the geofence from right here. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and open it up and then go ahead and extract all. Once it's extracted, go ahead and go into the files and then find the geofence.exe and then open that up. Now when you go to open this up, it might make you download a program called Microsoft Windows Desktop Runtime and you need to download that to actually get the file running. So go ahead and do that. It takes like a minute max. And then if you have this window pop up, just go ahead and click more info and then run anyways. And then just click yes. And that should open up the app. And then if yours looks like this and it says that it couldn't locate your game, to find your game file, you're just going to open up either your Battle.net or your Steam, whichever one you play Call of Duty on. So for me, I play on Steam, so I'm just going to open up Steam and then on my Call of Duty folder, I'm going to right click, go to manage, browse local files, and this tells me exactly where the game is saved. So I have to go into my program files, which is in my local disk, then go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Call of Duty Headquarters. You're just going to go ahead and do that in the Geofence app. So just click this, local disk, program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Call of Duty Headquarters, select that folder, and you should get a green check mark right there. And then just pick whatever location you want to connect to. So let's just say LA, and then press this button right here. And then it says the geofence is active. Then you just start up your game and you're good to go. If this video was helpful for you, then I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. But that's all I have for you guys today, so I'll see you guys next time.